what I'm going to show you today is how to create, or not create, but how to wrap this piece of mosaic glass. Very sm uh, smooth edges. Very nice and easy piece of glass to work with. And we're going to do something real simple, just like what we have here, just wrapped. And I do do different wrappings of the glass and we'll do that in another video so we'll get started with this one we won't do a beaded necklace we'll just do a necklace with the uh cotton cord so we'll get started we'll start with this we'll go ahead and use this one and i usually have um different colors glass they might be green they might be brown they might be like a, a smoke color and then we got this color, which is more like a clear or has that little purplish color to it. But either way, we'll go ahead and use this one. So we'll start with um, we'll start with our wire, our 18 gauge wire. And I always use 18 gauge wire because it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it works just really well. There are times I will use 16 gauge wire if I just want um, if the piece is a light kind of piece, like this is a very light piece. But even with this, I like the 16 gauge. So whenever I'm using, um, you know, a smaller piece and I want to add a little weight to it, I'll use the 16 gauge gold tone wire. But in this case, we'll go ahead and use the 18 gauge. So we'll get started. And as you know, I never measure. It's just I've been doing this stuff for so long until I know how to just pretty much no. So I want to match up the ends. Um, and this I'm not going to bend it too much. But what I want to do is take it and I'll lay it against the glass. And then if you try this, any method that you use to wrap the glass, you know, that's on you. It's just figuring out a way to wrap it and this just happens to be the way that I do it. So I'm going to flatten this as much as I can at the bottom. And then I want to tighten it up up here so I'll fold it and then I'll wrap here and then I'll take my, uh, my pliers and I'll wrap and be careful because you can wrap it so tight to where it'll break the wire. So we got this here. And remember, it's always kind of fussy, the wire is when you're working with it. So I'll do this. And that's probably as tight as I can get it. And I'm gonna take this piece down and hold it here and I'll begin to wrap the wire. And then I'll wrap, and I'll wrap, and then on the back, remember how we do, we like to tuck. So I'll use this piece, and I'll try to tuck it here to secure it, to get it under the wire. So, try to tuck it right up under here. Got it under there, so I'll pull it and then I'll wrap again because the idea is to get it as snug as possible and to also tuck that sharp piece, which I've done. And I'll try to flatten it out, which I've done. And what I'm gonna do is take a, I'll take the long piece and I'm gonna fold it so I can make a loop and I'll wrap it. Wrap it, wrap it, and then I'll wrap it again. And then I'm gonna take this, I'll wrap it at the bottom here. Wrap it, wrap it. And then I'm gonna take it down across because I wanna wrap it across here again. And then down. I might have to stop. 
I'll have to stop back here because it's not enough to wrap it all the way around again. And I don't want the piece to be in the front. I want everything on the back part. So I'm gonna cut some of this off. And remember, be careful because the wire likes to fly. So then we'll take it and we'll wrap it. Take it around here. And we'll wrap it. Oops, and then we'll wrap it one more time to tuck it. And it's easy once you really learn how to do it. So that's tucked. And make sure there's no sharp ends, nothing sharp. And you can already see it's starting to look something like what we got here. And I'm gonna take another piece of wire and I wanna wrap it a little bit more. And it's like the more wire that you use, the more rich it looks. It has a just a very expensive look to it. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more wire here. And what I wanna do with this wire is, let me see, because I wanna, I'm gonna make, I should have made this a little bit thicker, but that's that's okay. We could use this because we're gonna do the uh, the cotton cord. We're not gonna do it with the uh, the beads. But what I do want on here is a lot more uh, wire. So I'm gonna take it and wrap it. And this wire is a little bit thicker. So this is my uh, 16 gauge. Only because I wanna give this a little bit more uh, weight. I'm gonna take this and wrap it up around here because I want this to look nice and full up here. And then I'll take this part down here and I wanna take it and then bend it to give it some type of definition. And then I'll come back down here and then down here. And it's really just like wrapping, and uh, let me see if I can get under. If I take it, and then I wanna try to take it under here to try to secure it. And you have to be careful with the wire because it'll uh, twist and uh, it can break. I'm gonna have to twist this part because this wire is thicker. So what I'll do is twist it here to give it some type of definition. And you can see that there. And I'm gonna take it from the back and probably wrap it again to go up here because I wanna create Let's see, I'll take it this way. And it's just all about trying to figure out what works best. So if I take it this way, I can actually do some bending and then bending it back. And then take it that way and then bend it and then take it back up around here. And then it's just pretty much whatever you want it to look like. I mean, that's gorgeous just by itself. And there's something about the, um, there's something about the uh, gold wire that makes it look so nice. I need to cut some of this off. Gotta be careful because those little pieces fly. So I'm gonna take the ends here and I want to tuck them. So I got two and I generally will cut one longer than the other piece because that allows me room to tuck in different places. So like with this one, I'm going to tuck and then this piece here, I might just cut this piece off let me see 
or actually just make it a little closer than a lot closer because remember we don't want to leave any sharp anything that somebody can feel so that's perfect so then we have this is a piece of mosaic glass very smooth edges and then what we're going to do is um and even if you want to you can bead this with um i wouldn't use big beads but very small beads you can kind of put on here and place them all around and decorate it if you want to but for me i like to do them this way and generally um, as fillers when i'm selling i uh like to do a lot of these and i'll do them with the uh cotton cord and these sell really nice as fillers like when there's times um now this will look nice with this color uh, of the brown cord but when you don't have time to make a lot of jewelry let's say like the sets the beaded sets these sets right here you know or something like something like this one and these sell really fast for me no sooner than i can put these chunky beaded uh agate slice necklace sets out they're gone just like that and right before the uh, coronavirus situation started i was getting ready for um two fashion shows and of course neither one of those happened they got postponed and also like this so whenever I don't have time to make these type of uh, necklaces, what I will do is I'll make a, I'll make a lot of the uh, the mosaic glass necklaces as fillers, you know, to kind of keep my table full. So I'm going to go ahead and use this color uh, cotton thread. So we'll just cut it. Cut and then tie a nice knot at the end and I like to leave a little extra at the end of it so then that way people can kind of uh, some people know how to tie the knot on the end where they can adjust the size so I like to leave it like that or if they want to cut it a certain size I'm sorry a certain length they can do that so I like to make sure to give them extra uh, thread so this is it, the mosaic wrapped glass necklace. Very simple, very easy, um, doesn't take a whole lot to make. They're great for fillers on your table. Um, and they work, they, they do really well. They do really well. Like I said, there's a lot of different colors. The glass you can get, there's like a dark blue, light blue, uh, like a light green, dark green, uh, clear color, uh, brown. Oh, in fact, here's one here. Here's the, the brown. And then what I did with this one is pretty much put one of the metal uh, wrap pieces on this one. And this is a choker piece. So you can see they're very easy. They, they look really nice and very simple to make. Darling Knight, Jury by BDK. Thanks for stopping by.